All right, guys, my name is Torrent, uh, Miguel AK Torrent. I'm back again with another video with this new Anchor product. This is the Anchor uh, 165 watt power bank that just got released. I'm trying to get the case here for you guys to see. Um, this is a product that just in. This came in, <clears throat> I bought this with my own money and I've been testing to see how well it's been doing with the charge. So anyway, this video is gonna be about me charging <clears throat> my M1 laptop. This is a MacBook M1 uh, 14 inch. Uh, it is completely dead right now. It has no power whatsoever. I'm not turning it on, I, drowned, I drained it. Um, and we have the anchor here that is at 100%. Now, a couple features about the anchor. It has uh, two USB-C cords that are built into it uh, that are rated for 100 watts each. Um, even the third one here is 100 watts. Uh, so you get 100 watts at every USB. All, not all together at the same time, but individually, if you plug in something, you, you're supposed to get 100 watts. Um, so that is what we're going to do today. We're actually going to use this side one right here. <clears throat> we are going to plug this into the MacBook, and we are going to test to see how long it takes to actually charge it. So we're going to set up the stopwatch here. Um, it's going to be a little difficult for me to show this in some sort of way, so it's going to be kind of upside down uh, for a little bit. We're going to use uh, just the USB port, USB-C port, this one right here. They are rated for charging at 100 watts. The first one is rated for 100 watts, I believe, not the second one. Uh, so we're going to plug this in and we're going to see what kind of watts we get with it and then charging time at 100 watts and see how it goes. Now, from my understanding is that the first 50... Um, the first 50% of power should be done at 100 watts, and then after that, it should trickle down to 67 and so on, the closer it gets to 100. So let's start the timer in one minute. All right, so let's plug it in and see what we get here. All right, so plugging it in, and we're going to start, um, and we're going to see what this goes up to. This should go up to... Uh, 100 watts actually so let's see where we're at oh we're at 86 okay so i don't think this is going so the laptop here is at one percent you could actually see one um so i don't think this is going to go to 100 i think at max we might see is 96 so i'm going to turn off the laptop and we're going to put that on top of that for now and see how it goes. All right, so we're sitting at 82 right now. Um, again, I didn't turn it off. I kind of just closed it. So let's see. Let's power it off. All right, so now we completely powered off the laptop. It's not in um, standby mode. And let's see if we could top now. 82 is still pretty good. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. Oh, see, it's, re, it's redistributing. This is a pretty nice feature. It's redistributing because I turned this off. So it kind of has to recalibrate itself to figure out what it's doing. Um, and let's see what we got. All right. So even if it sits at 80%, we're still pretty awesome. Um, anyway, I'm going to let this run. This is going to be a real world simulation on how fast this actually works. We want to make sure, you know, we want to see if we're actually, the stats are what they say they are. Um, I was hoping to get in the 90s with this number. Um, the fact that it's sitting at 80 is a little bah, you know but I get it. It's rated, again, this is rated for 100. Um, so maybe it's maybe it's the wire, maybe it's not the wire, but I doubt it. Um, I wish the screen would stay on this. So it looks like the max we're going to get. So, all right, let's give it 30 minutes. Let's come back to it, and we'll see maybe 15 minutes, because this is going pretty fast, uh, and we'll see what this is, uh, what this stabilizes on. All right. Thanks, guys.
All right. All right, and we're back here at the 20 minute mark. Let's zoom out here to take a look. At what's going on here? All right. So let's uh, actually, let's go in for a second. What are we at? We are still at 80. Oh, so we're at 83. Okay, so we're still in fast charging mode. Uh, I'm curious about that. So it's been 20 minutes. We're at 83. Um, oh, that's 68 percent. That's 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 a good heft. Oh, I'm kind of curious here. Uh, so we're sitting at 90, and it does feel warm. All right, it does feel warm. The battery does feel warm. All right, so let's. Uh, zoom out let's move here to the side i'm going to use uh my iphone for some footage because it you know me booting this up on this side so let's turn on let's turn on the video part of this all right because it's going to be hard for me to turn this around um oh well, it's booting up all right so let's see what we're at here uh, oof, that does not look too good. All right, so I logged in and we are at uh, 40%. All right. All right. So let's stop that. All right, so we're at, I'm closing this up a little bit. Okay, so we are at 40%. After 20 minutes, and weirdly enough, it seems like a direct reflection of this, uh, of this power. So, you know, like it's down 40% and a laptop is charged 40%. And we're at 88 charging speed, um, which I'm enjoying a little bit more because... Uh, I just feel like 88 is a little better. Uh, I don't know. I mean, at this rate, I think that this battery bank is probably only good for one charge for this uh, Mac MacBook. I don't think it's going to, we're not going to be able to get anywhere close to two charges. Because, I mean, if this is at 40% and this is 40% down, I mean, it's pretty much going to go to 100%. So we're going to see when this stops going to 89%. Um, I'm sorry, we're going to see when this stops fast charging at 89 watts, uh, or 88 watts, or that's what it was, no, 89, um, and get an idea, I'm happy that it's at 89, I uh, wasn't happy with the 70, um, so I guess we'll check on it in another half hour and see where we're at with this. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, we are back, and let's see what's going on here. So it's throttled down to 32 watts. We're at an hour mark. Uh, 16%, yeah, this is a one-shot. Does that say 98? Oh, that's pretty hot going up in temperature. All right, let me just put this on really quick. Um, I wonder if we're at 80% full or 85% full. Let's take a look at what we're doing. Yeah, we're at 86% full. So, um, <clears throat> so this is an exact correlation from this to the laptop, meaning that 100% of this charge will be 100% charge of the laptop. Um, I know you can't see it. 
Uh, let's see if I can get it in there. Maybe. No. I'll use my iPhone. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, so that, where are we? There we go. We are at 86%. Um, that is one on almost a one to one ratio. You know, it's a it's a one to one ratio. So with this battery pack, you get uh, one charge for a MacBook on well, at least the M1. Um, now the charging is not too bad, right? So we did one hour, we went from zero to 86 percent uh and that's not bad at all and it's throttled down to 30 to 30 32 watts now i wonder the question is did it throttle down to 33 watts because that's what it's supposed to do or it's because the temperature went up to 98 um which i don't think should be it doesn't seem too hot for that to happen it's not like overly hot but it might have throttled it down um, to keep it from overheating. Yeah, this doesn't seem too hot or whatever. Uh, so we're just going to let it run uh, probably a next half hour at this rate or so. Um, I'm hoping that the last 15%, 13% do not take an hour because that would really kind of stink, but we'll give it a check, you know. We'll come back in about a half hour to see if, it's, uh, if it reached 100%. All right, thanks guys. All right, just back in time. 30 minutes with 1% uh, left. Are we getting any watts here? 10 watts. All right, let's take a look at what the laptop is at. Laptop's at 100%. Yep. Yeah. So, let's see if we can take a look. 100%. So, not bad. Let's stop it. All right. So let's take a look at this. We unplug it. Let's take a quick look at the temperature. 95 degrees. It's hot, but it's spent. All right. So we have an answer. Um, so it took an hour and a half to charge the MacBook from 0 to 100%. Um, the maximum speed I think we saw was like 89, I think, or yeah, 89, uh, which isn't bad on the port hour and a half to charge this. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's one and done. So now you have a full MacBook, um, which isn't the worst thing, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess it's up to you to decide whether this would be one and done for your MacBook. And obviously, if you add an iPhone or anything else to it, it's probably going to deplete it a lot, you know, more. So this is, you know, if you add more devices to this with a MacBook, you're not going to get a full charge on a MacBook. So, um, and also it's nice to know that is a one-to-one -one ratio, right? So uh, you charge it once and that's it, you know, like 100% of this is 100% of that. So, um Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you find this useful, give a like, subscribe, check out my other videos on this. Um, again, a pretty nifty thing. I always like Anchor uh, devices. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. Bye now.